My husband requested me to cook kare kare today, so this is what I'm gonna use. These are the meat that I'm gonna use beef and tripe. This is peanuts. I'm gonna grind the peanuts. This is what I'm gonna use. This is uh, peanut. It's uh, one cup of uh, peanuts and I ground it. This is ground roasted rice. And this is uh, anato or achuete. I'm soaking it and then I'm gonna squeeze it later so that I can see, I can get the colors. And a little amount of, uh, of salt. Usually I don't put salt, but sometimes you want to, to uh, eat the sauce or drink the sauce of the kare kare. And it's good if it has salt in it. But otherwise, you can, you can cook uh, kare kare without salt because uh, you will eat it with um, salted shrimp paste, uh, salted shrimp paste, or we call it bagoong. Four cloves of uh, garlic and uh, one third cup of diced onions. This is the vegetable I'm gonna use. It's pechay. We can find bok choy in our grocery. So this is a huge pechay. This is sitaw for my garden. It's uh, blanched and frozen. I'm now gonna add the garlic and the onions. Rice. The anato is just for coloring. The rice is to make the thick soup, uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> to make the soup thicker. So as you can see, it's thick. And uh, the taste really comes from uh, the peanut. Now I'm gonna add the vegetables. This is the ketchup. Giant pet chai. Petiole is half cooked. I'm gonna add a few of this uh, sitao. Sitao is already cooked, so we'll just add a little.
and it's done. Kare kare is cooked. Done. It's done. So we're ready to eat. My husband is very hungry.